Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gabe's to here today, and we're looking at the Crash the Party achievement, which is part of the Heart of the Swarm Mastery achievements. This requires that you destroy all Dominion structures in the Planetfall mission before the fifth bio launcher lands in hard difficulty. Uh, for the build that I use for this achievement, uh, I want uh, automated extractors and twin drones for fast economy. I use kinetic blast, crushing grip, and mend for my primary Kerrigan abilities, and then drop pods as her sort of ultimate ability. For the army, it doesn't matter a whole lot. It just depends on your style. I kind of go Roach, Hydra, Zergling, Ultralisk. So I like tissue assimilation for the Ultras on this because it just makes them tankier. They can hold their own for a little bit longer. Anyway, so let's rewind and we'll get started with the walkthrough. So again, it's uh, all about a time limit here. So the first thing you want to do is build drones and get your second extractor going. Since you've got automated extractor, uh, that's really the way to go. You'll notice I leave behind my mutas that I initially start with. Just take my two hydras, two roaches, and Kerrigan out. And the first thing you want to do is establish your second base. So the easiest one to get to, in my opinion, is this, this one at the top here. Uh, now try to save your army units as much as possible. So I break down the bunker with Kerrigan with two kinetic blasts. And then you can use crushing grip. And now we've got some broodlings and extra zerglings will land at the same time. So just grab all that stuff. Try to keep it healed up with mend. And then again, use kinetic blast on the bunker. This is a general tactic. And try to keep your ranged units kind of back with Kerrigan. Hopefully they won't die as you rush up here. And uh, there's a good stun, getting most everything left. And then the Thor is really the big damage, but by himself he's weak. So I'll finish that off. Now, as soon as you're comfortable here, you know, having killed most everything, you're going to want to move some drones up and start this base. So I'm just clearing this bunker here. And you want to actually only grab three drones because their pathing is a little weird. So you have to actually shift click slightly to the left, the path that your units originally took to get here, and then hold shift and continue building. So you build your hatchery and your extractor. So they basically have a waypoint um, kind of to the west of the map before the actual end waypoint where they're building their structures. If you just send them directly up to that base, they actually path slightly north of your original base through enemy territory and they'll die. So you have to be careful of that. Anyway, once the drones are starting to go up there safely, you'll get your hatchery and extractors going. Then you can use Kerrigan and whatever's left to clear out the rest of the buildings in this base. Um, not a big rush at this point. So start to build your tech structures back at home and obviously make sure your drones are well saturated in your main base. Uh, you'll get this wave of infantry up in the north base, but since Kerrigan will still be there clearing out the buildings, she can handle it quite easily by herself even. Um, now you do need some flying units in this mission. It took me a couple tries. I would always fail and miss two buildings somehow, even though I thought the whole map was clear. Um, and that's because there are actually two turrets on the east side of the map that are hidden. And if you don't have flying units, you can't see them, obviously. So you can just use an overlord and fly it over there if you want, uh, or just grab some mutas. So I'm just going to get some mutas. Uh, anyway, so now we've got our second base established. Make sure you start to build up your upgrades right away. And then maximize your drones so you saturate on your second base quickly. And this will get your economy where it needs to be. And since you've gotten the second base so early, you will be able to build up a very large army very quickly, which you'll need to be able to clear out uh, all the stuff around the map. Now, this achievement does not require that you successfully defend bio launchers. So if, if a bio launcher dies, 
it's okay in terms of the achievement. You can't lose three of them, obviously, because the mission will fail. Um, and if you don't defend them, those units will attack, you know, a nearby base afterward. So you do want to try to keep the units at bay, but it's not the end of the world if a bio launcher dies. So once you have enough, build a third hatchery. And uh, don't forget your overlords, which I think I'm about to do. I don't know why I hit R there on accident. <laughs> uh, so around this time that this second bio launcher falls down and then starts to get an attack wave, you have time to take what army you've built to this point over there and defend it. You can see it's just a lot of the, what are those, Hellbats, I guess there? I don't know the names of the <laughs> new un units for Terran very well. Uh, anyway, I also use drop pod around this time so that now I can clear to the east. And uh, this gives you a ton of, you know, army basically f instantly for free. So you can use this to clear any section you want. I go this part just because it prevents some units from being made that will attack you later. And nothing special about this. I only have, I mean, I think the drop pod is probably doubling my supply if it actually added. Um, so very nice. Also make sure you upgrade uh, your primary hatchery so you can build an ultra, ultra cavern if you're into that sort of thing, which you should be because they're awesome uh, in this mission especially. So right here is where the first hidden turret is. You can see there's a Viking uh, he's no match for my three mutas, but <laughs> trying to defend it. So get that turret down. And then there's another one up to the north. You might as well get this one at the same time. There it is there, in the, just on the right of the screen. So those are the only two buildings you cannot see and therefore kill with an all-ground army. So just make sure you have some form of vision on the air to grab those. And then the rest, you don't have to worry about air units at all at this point. Also, it's a good idea to destroy the gates uh, if it's convenient to you. Just leave a few units on the gate that you pass by if you want to maximize your time with you know, your bulk of your army. And uh, once the gate's destroyed, it will obviously send in reinforcements to help you out and just makes things easier. So now you want to make your way to clearing out this base here. Again, I'm hitting R. I don't know. I must be trying to hit E to mend, and I accidentally fat finger it. And because I had my entire army selected, it just burrowed everything around the map. So I'm trying to recover from that. Uh, there's also a small attack force here that took out uh, a couple things. So I have to sort of overreact and send everything. There you see a bunch of zerglings burrowed because I burrowed everything. More zerglings burrowed. So if you're better at micro than I am, which I'm sure you will be, you won't have this problem. <laughs> anyway, so once you successfully defend the attack up in the top left base, hopefully save your hatchery. Uh, you can see most of the drones died. Not a big deal. Just rebuild them with double, double drone. You can just rebuild everything really quick. So hatchery did die. That sucks but uh, not the biggest blow. I still have most of my army left, and I've cleared out two-thirds of the map now. So you do want to defend against this big air push that it will be blinking on the map. It always comes around the same time. Uh, the units are not very tough, frankly. So any basic you know, unit with or army with basic ability to attack air also will be able to take it out. Uh, the Vikings tend to land and attack you for some reason. I guess because you don't have any air units, but they're not very good on the ground. So while I'm up here defending that push, I figure I may as well go up and clear this second gate. So that's what I'm doing. And again, drop pod. Try to use it on cooldown for the most efficiency, obviously. It's a really good ability, though. I think it's the best ultimate by far. The Leviathan just does not do enough damage. The, the damage output from 40 Zerg units that you get from Drop Pod is crazy. 
Not to mention it prevents damage on your main army, so it saves you supply, basically. Allows you to attack things you wouldn't otherwise. And then the, uh, I can't remember the name of the spell, but the, the other ultimate ability that does 300 damage to units and 700 to structures, it's just not a lot of damage. The AE is not large enough to usually hit enough things, and it's not like you're fighting a multiplayer battle where you're doing 200 supply versus 200 supply army. And in that case, you know, 300 damage on everything would be awesome. But usually in these campaign battles, you're just fighting a defended position with some static defenses. So I just don't think it's as good as being able to get actual army supply into your army instantly. Anyway, so I'm just really just spamming roaches and hydras and zerglings and a few ultras. And make sure you, my upgrades are maintained. And then I'm just making my way around the map. The best thing you can really do to help yourself succeed on this uh, achievement is getting that second base, the one right there on the screen, as early as possible. So that will improve your economy very quickly. And then you can, from there, just steamroll into a large enough army that you can attack move through many, pretty much all the defensive positions and uh, win, basically. So I've got my third base, so getting that saturated with a bunch of drones, but it really doesn't matter. You don't even need to take this third base if you've uh, been, you know, doing everything up to this point. You should be able to just take out this final position with what you have here. You can see I'm around 150 supply. And uh, with the drop pod units, that's a ton of stuff. <laughs> so... This last area is not that um, difficult, really. So you can just push your way up here. And assuming you cleared everything else, this should be the last section. So just stunning the Thor, big units. Using kinetic blast on Thors and tanks. There's a tank over there. And that should be it. Yeah, there we go. So that is the Crash the Party achievement for Planetfall. Uh, not too difficult, just remember those couple turrets on the right have some flying units, grab that second base quickly, and then just mass out your army and upgrades as fast as you can and you should get it. So good luck and thanks for watching.